Hey everyone, I'm Kartikeyan. I'm a freelance reporter from uh, India. I'm based in Bangalore. Uh, over the last couple of years, I've been trying to write more about uh, how people who depend on nature for their livelihoods, how they are being impacted by climate change and trying to document the kind of changes that they observe in their daily lives, especially fishermen and farmers. Uh, so what I've learned is that uh, farmers, especially women farmers, seem to have a, 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 a nuanced understanding of uh, climate change without any external uh, expertise uh, coming to them. And being here in uh, San Francisco, I attended one event where, uh, where women farmers had come and spoke about the challenges that they face. And interestingly enough, it was almost similar to uh, the challenges that uh, women in India face. Uh, but uh, one good takeaway was how women in general tend to have smaller farmlands and thereby having more diverse uh, uh, cropping patterns and that in itself by in its nature is uh, gives uh, a stronger resilience uh, towards climate change so once i get back home i'm trying to see if i can draw a larger picture connect these dots uh, between women in different countries and how they approach uh, farming and what they think about uh, climate change and their future and, uh, and I, I am happy that I, I could get a global perspective on something that is so uh, local and uh, micro. Uh, so my challenge is to you know, make that uh, connection. This summit was a lot about action and making commitments to do uh, things that will move the ball on climate change. I think COP is gonna be a lot about higher level people talking in conference rooms and um, yeah. What do you see as the connection and how do you think you'll be able to take what you learned here to the next level in Poland? Uh, so like some of the fellows had spoken about uh, the kind of investments the, that's happening. So I did see a lot of private investors uh, getting technology. So even in farming, uh, Microsoft had announced that uh, they had developed an app that gives you very accurate readings of the weather and the patting, when to, pat, uh, when to sow, when to harvest. Uh, so these kind of innovations are interest, always interesting to document and notice and India in particular uh, focused a lot on uh, electric vehicles. So we had three mayors come here make commitments. Some of them had already purchased a lot of electric buses and have promised to uh, take it further. Uh, and, and a lot of the summit, a lot of people also spoke about uh, electric vehicles and how it's no longer a, a technical problem, it's not a technology problem but it's a uh, it's a political uh, problem and it's a, it's a solu solution is more of a political will than anything else. Uh, so I think so that's a good uh, place to be in I would feel because then we can we have no excuse or reason to stop ourselves from implementing these solutions that uh, already uh, exist and uh, so so when it comes to India a lot of these big cities are trying to uh, transition to electric vehicles and I would like to document that, uh, this transition, and see how, how much impact it would make in the emissions.